Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my weekly forecast for Monday, July 25th, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And my new uh, technical analysis of the cryptocurrency market is also available on my eToro platform and also on Patreon. The link's down below. So let's start by looking at the uh, NASDAQ. And as you can see, we did go all the way up towards 12.6K in uh, this basically week and then gave most of those gains back. So there are two moving averages just above here, which I have written. This is the 20 simple moving average, which is most likely moving in this direction. It's kind of leveling off as we have been rallying quite significantly from 11K. Uh, and then we have the 50 moving average moving in this direction so if we were to rally above the 20 simple moving average and then the 50 moving average which is at 14.3k at this current stage will most likely come into play as it looks at this point it looks like we are getting rejected at the 20 simple and if that is the case that we may go heading back towards the 200 moving average that is moving in this direction Breaking below the 200 moving average, that is a significant deal. And in the long term, if we have the 50 moving average crossing the 200 moving average, then we have a golden crossing of the 50 and the 200, which we haven't basically seen since the Great Recession. We have to go all the way back to 2000 and this was back here, 2008, where we have a crossing. And then we also have a crossing here back in 2001. So that is a really rare thing and usually uh, uh, big negative sign uh, for for the stock market in in general uh, so as it looks we are getting rejected at the 20 simple moving average that hasn't been the first time we also got rejected here or by the 50 moving average so we got this black pattern here and we kind of negative flag pattern and we kind of got this measured move all the way down to the downside the question is whether or not with this is another black pattern and if so, then we are most likely the measure move here is all the way down towards roughly nine to eight thousand uh, eight k. So, if we drop below the two hundred moving average and this basically holds, then we are most likely going to drop back towards the levels that we saw um, prior to the coronavirus after this basically rally here. So, we will have given all of the gains uh, away that we have basically seen. Um, in the period of the 2020 and 2021 um, due to, uh, when after the coronavirus. So we did drop towards the 200 moving average, it had this massive rally here. And at this current stage, it looks like we are heading towards the levels that we saw prior to the coronavirus. If you look at technical indicators, they're looking more promising. So this may play out for several weeks. You can see that MACD is, has crossed the signal line um, in in bearish territory so this is uh, bullish stochastic has crossed the line also is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so that's the negative news to the positive usually when we have tested the 200 moving average we kind of did that um five weeks ago uh, roughly six weeks ago i was supposed to say and then this market tends to recover so we saw that back in 2020. We saw that nearly here in 2018. And we can go back towards the 2016, 2016 yet again, 2015, and so on and so on. So 200 moving average has definitely been um, um, an area where buyers have come in and basically been bought it to the upside. Whether or not that will happen now, that is to be seen, but that has been the case in the past. Federal Reserve is continue uh, is going to continue increasing interest rates, and they haven't even started with quantitative tightening. So, so this period uh, from roughly ten all the way to two thousand and twenty two was a period of quantitative easing, where the Federal Reserve was basically propping up the market, basically uh, buying bonds on the on market and uh, increasing liquidity in the market and was basically uh, really really good for the stock market now things are completely changed to the opposite where they're basically going to suck money out of the market and make it less affordable to, to take loans and that should be very negative therefore in the long term 
outlook for stocks um, could be really negative, but that is to be seen. So let's look at the S&P 500. Also here, we had a flag pattern that basically held this measure and move uh, to the downside, and it kind of looks like we are creating another one here. 20 simple moving average right above, looks like that is going to be an area of resistance, and the 50 moving average also here. So tech stocks have been hit far harder than Dow Jones and and um, and S and P 500. Um, there is um, still a lot more room to the downside in in, the, in Dow Jones and also S and P 100 compared to the Nasdaq. But we could reject get rejected here and head south. We could also get rejected here at the 50 moving average and head south. You will occasionally see these massive rallies here, uh, creating these flag patterns and then dropping down. But here we have the 200 moving average, which should offer significant uh, support. And we kind of tested it, not really got it close right here, but it, uh, 200 moving average is trading at to 3.5K at this current stage. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still negative, has not crossed the signal line. Stochastic has, and is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If we break below the 200 moving average, then we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this market and see that we have the 61.8 all the way down here at 3.186 and we have the 50 right here where the 200 moving average is so this should be massive support but breaking below this then usually it drops down towards the 61.8 dropping below that then we are looking at the market as going significantly lower so let's look at the uh, dow jones and here we also have, it's not very really, really clear, this flag on but rallies up towards the 50, 20 simple moving average have been sold into, and 200 moving average has offered massive resistance down here. Now it looks like we have tested the 20 simple moving average again and gave, have given most of those gains back. So we could be heading back towards the 200 moving average. If we break below that, then we can look at Fibonacci retracements and see that we are quite far away from the uh, 50. So that's down here at 27K, 27.5K, 61.8 is down at 25.3K. Uh, so that this has a long way to go before we get to, towards those significant retracement levels. So there probably is a lot more um, to give in the Dow um, uh, going forward. To the upside, if we break above the 20 simple moving average, then we have the 50 moving average right above here at this 34.1k. After that, we may go back to the very highs. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is just about to cross the signal line, which is a bullish indication. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish. So momentum at this current stage is definitely to the upside. And it is also for the NASDAQ and also the S&P 500. European markets, we can see that European markets uh, or the DAX went all the way up to 13.4K and gave most of those gains back. Kind of ended right at the 200 moving average, just above the 200. Taking indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. We have the 20 simple moving average flattening out here, which should offer resistance. 200, the 50 moving average is moving this direction, should also offer resistance. But this area here, give or take 13.4 um, uh, all the way up to 13.6 should offer a massive resistance right at the, the 20 simple moving average. This market has been all over the place and fairly difficult to to um, to estimate where technology is going at this current stage. We did break below the 20, no 200 and then rallied all the way up to the 20 broke down yet again towards the 200, rally up towards the 20, broke below the 200, and now we're kind of staying underneath the 200. If we break down below here, then we may drop all the way down to the uh, lows of 2020 here, and after that towards the very lows of the uh, Uh Outlook for the European market, definitely not good, and uh, but it's to be seen where we are going from here. This just looks completely chaos, which has also been the case since you, Russia basically invaded uh, Ukraine. 
if we look at uh, MACD, is this bearish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. So, Japanese Nikkei. This market has been testing the 50 moving average several times in the past. Tested here, broke down to below the, the bullish band, ran right up again, all the way down to the 200 moving average, tested the 50 yet again, broke down towards the bottom of the bullish band, 50, 50. And the question now is whether or not we drop back towards the bottom of the bullish band or all the way down towards the 200 moving average. If we break above the 50 moving average or get a clean green candlestick above here, then we may go higher. But at this current stage, 50 moving average has been a massive barrier for this market and has been kind of going slowly to the downside. Occasionally have massive rallies, but but uh, it is kind of just heading towards the 200 uh, in the long term. MACD is bullish, stochastic is flattening out and uh, looks like it's going to cross the signal line to the downside and the RSI is flat as well. So it's going to be interesting um, market to, to uh, look at uh, for uh, this week. Um, probably far more interesting than, than the US stocks at this current stage or the European market. So let's look at the VIX. Uh, VIX is, well, doing kind of the same thing. We are trading at 25.58 at this current stage. And there was a lot of selling at the end of the Friday session. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish. Stochastic is kind of flat at this point, And the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is to the downside. The highs here are roughly 33.34 uh, up to 35. And the lows here are give or take in the 20s. Breaking below the 200 moving average, then we probably go to these lows. But 50 has offered massive um, support in the past. And so has the 200 moving average. So we're approaching the 50. So we may see a market rally here. If we break below that, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play and we will uh, rally from there. Breaking below that, then we are going to a market that is more um, optimistic. And considering everything that is happening, that is um, probably not really likely at this current stage as war is still continuing. Um, world economy is slowing down uh, uh, central banks all over the world are increasing interest rates and quantity tightening hasn't even started yet both in the united states and in europe and considering those things there should be a far more uh, fear in the market than optimism so let's look at the 10 year 10 year is right here where it's really important because Breaking below this, then we are most likely going to head to, if you look at the Fibonacci retracements, towards the 50. And 50 is down here at 2.4. And then we have the, the, the 61.8 all the way down here at 2.1. So market here has been uh, fairly brutal this week. Went all the way up towards the tree and then broke down and ended up at, at, um, at 2.758. So it's the scene where we are going from here, but technically it doesn't look very uh, positive at this point. If we basically bounce from here, like we did the last time, then we may go up back to three and break in the bow tree, then we may go back to the very highest of 3.5. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button above on the CR.